Welcome to the second video in this series of managing your account using the Now Health website. An account has been created for you when you generated a quote through the website. This was covered in our first video. Once your account has been created, you can log in and manage your secure online portfolio through any page on the site by clicking on the Log into My Portfolio link here. Log into your account using the email address you used to sign up and the password we sent in the confirmation email. Forgetting login details isn't a problem. Just click the Forgotten Password button and follow the password reset process. This is also covered in another video. After logging in, you land on the Portfolio home page. This is the single place you access and manage your plan and any quotes you have. Here we have five panels, which are also accessed from the tabs on the top menu. Working our way from the left, we'll start with the About Me section. In here, you can manage your login and contact details and choose how to manage your documents. In the Change My Login Details section at the top, you can update your email address or choose a new password. Choosing a new password is recommended with new accounts or after you've reset your password after forgetting it, as the system generated passwords can sometimes be hard to remember. Just add your existing password here. Add your new memorable password here and confirm it. You must click on the submit button after any changes and these can only be reset once in any 24 hour period. The document delivery settings are where you manage how you would like to receive your documents. As part of our environmental commitments, we would ask you to access them online. However, if you would like to receive a physical copy, just check this box and we'll send them to your address. A physical membership card will be dispatched regardless of what you select. Scrolling down the screen, we have my personal and contact details. Here, some fields are greyed out and can't be edited as any changes you make here would impact on the terms of the contract. If you do need to make changes to any of these fields, contact us by using one of the three tabs at the top of the screen and select either Call Me Back, Call Us Direct or Chat With Us. You can opt to receive notifications of our updates to services by checking this box. The next tab on the menu opens to the My Quotes page. This lists any quotes made through Now Health prior to your current plan being activated. You can view, edit and activate any current quotes or request a new one from here. Moving to the next tab on the menu, My Plan. Here we see five panels, each with downloadable documents. A certificate of insurance, your member's handbook, a virtual membership card, a claim form and your cover note. By clicking on any document, it will open in a new window. The first panel contains the Certificate of Insurance. This is specific to you and is your formal evidence of insurance document. You must read your certificate thoroughly and check it to make sure it's accurate. And if any information is incorrect, please tell us immediately. The second panel holds a copy of the Member's Handbook. This contains everything you need to know about the plan. Next to the Member's Handbook is the Virtual Membership Card. This is a temporary card you can print and use until your physical one arrives, or if you're waiting for a replacement. Moving down, we have a blank claim form. The form can either be completed through a browser or downloaded for completion at a later date. If you choose to fill out the form through your browser, you must print the completed copy as the data can't be saved. In the last panel, we have the cover note. This is a temporary notification of insurance that we issue at the outset of the plan to give immediate cover until your premium has been paid. Once the premium has been paid, this cover note is deactivated. If you use or need a replacement membership card, just click here to send us an email and we'll send a new one out to you. If you want to add a dependent to the plan and need a quote, just click on the Add Dependent button and a new modal window opens. These are much the same as pop-ups, just complete all the details. Select the date you want to add the dependent from. This is the date you want the cover to start, and you can select a date up to 15 days in the future. When you're finished, click the Finish button, or to cancel, just close the window by clicking the X at the top here. The Renewals box shows the plan renewal date, 
but don't worry, you'll be notified by email before the plan renews. That covers the panels in this section. We'll now move on to My Claims. Here we see a high-level overview of all claims activity being made on the plan. For privacy, we never show information about the benefit being claimed or any diagnosis information. Claims can be searched by any plan year. No claims are ever deactivated from the system, so a full claims history is always shown. If any claims have been made, the record will appear in a table underneath. To view the detail of a specific claim, click on the claim record you want to view and the record will be highlighted in purple. Now select the View Details button and the claim record appears in a modal window. You can view the basic details of the claim in the claim currency, the payment currency and the plan currency. When you're finished, just close this window by selecting the X at the top right here. The final tab on the menu takes us to Actions and Messages. Every form you need to run the plan can be found here and downloaded. From a claim form to claim back any expenses you've incurred. A pre-certification form for authorisation when a GP needs to provide us with any additional information. Adding a dependent form when you need to apply to add a dependent offline. And a change of contact information form to make any amendments to details offline. To download any of these forms, select the region you want and wait for the page to refresh. Then click the Download Now button. The form will open as a PDF in a new window. These can either be completed through a browser or downloaded for completion at a later date. If you choose to fill out the form through your browser, you must print the completed copy as the data can't be saved. Scrolling down, we see this section which you can use to register a complaint. Just fill in any comments, tell us how to respond and submit the form. The complaint details will be listed below and any response will appear giving a full audit trail. This concludes the video for managing your account. If you have any questions, please contact your local office or use the options at the top of the website at any time.